time for another question and answer sesh here at the Ask SP desk. It sure is. So let's get stuck into these queries from Sam in Beachtopia, Victoria. Beachtopia? Sounds awesome. Well, if you like beaches, sure. But me, I don't like sand. It's all coarse and rough and irritating. It gets everywhere. Hi there, good game spawn point. I have two questions. One, do you review games in their beta state then when they fully release? Two, have you reviewed Audio Shield? Thanks. Ha! Darren, please do these. Oh, there's some things for Darren to do. Greetings, Darren here. Hey, Darren, there's some uh, things for you. Aha! Aha! Minecraft Darren Edition! Ampersands! Exclaimo! Double pipe! Percentatron! Ooh, Minecraft Darren Edition! What a splendid idea! <laughs> Little Darren mobs running around lasering noobs. I give it a preemptive five out of five rubber chickens. <laughs> Darren, you can't give something that doesn't exist a preemptive score. Sure I can. <laughs> now, I'm going to contact the Minecraft devs again to see what they think. Uh, they haven't returned my calls about all my other update ideas for some reason, but I'm sure they'll take a chance on me. <laughs> Talk soon. <laughs> take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take uh, a okay, chance. Okay, Darren, chance, I will good luck with that. Chance, Bye. <laughs> And thank you, Sam, for your questions. In answer to your first question about whether we review games in their beta state and then when they fully release, well, most of the time we like to wait for a game's full release, don't we? Yeah, but having said that, it's not always the case. Sometimes we look at games in beta or early access. Like Dreams, for example, which we looked at earlier this year. It's also common for us to choose not to score a game that we review in beta. Or sometimes we might live stream or do a let's play of a game when it's in early access and then consider reviewing it later. I guess there's no real hard and fast rule. We tend to make these decisions with our team on a case by case basis. And as for whether we've reviewed Audio Shield, I don't think it was reviewed on the show, was it, Jen? No, I don't think so. From the looks of it, Audio Shield is a VR rhythm game that came out in 2016. I can't say exactly why it wasn't reviewed back then. It seems quite similar to Beat Saber, which we did review this year. But hey, we can't review everything. We need to eat and sleep and go outside and do those things. Yes, yes we do. But for now, let's have a look at this video question from Freya. Hi, Good Game Spawn Point. I have some questions about Star Stables. Number one, do you play Star Stables? Number two, if you do play, which race do you like the best? I personally like Fort Pinter's track. Number three, how many rubber chickens would you give Star Stables? Number four, what is the best racing horse breed? Thanks Freya. In answer to your question about whether we play Star Stable, which is an online horse themed adventure game, well, I played some of the free to play parts of the game because I wanted to see what the experience was like without spending any real money. So I've played it, but I'm not a Star Stable expert. As for the races, I only really ran the Wild Bobcat track and the Fort Pinter tracks. They were both pretty fun, but the Fort Pinter track, I think, had more interesting scenery. What about a rubber chicken score? I probably haven't played quite enough of the whole game to give it a rubber chicken score, but from what I've seen, it's quite sweet. There's a bit of a story in amongst the fetch quests, races, general errands and horse maintenance. I found the controls and camera to be a bit clunky and it gets a bit samey after a while. But if you like horses, you might have some fun with it. You said it was initially free to play though, right? Does that mean the dreaded microtransactions? Uh, in a way, yes. Like so many of these online free to start games, a lot seems to be inaccessible without spending real money. You can definitely have a few solid hours of play up to level 5 for free to see if it's something you like, but after that you're encouraged to pay to become a star rider, to get star coins and access the full game. So with this and the in-game chat feature and things like that, you'll want to make sure your grown-ups are in the loop if you want to play it. And what about the best racing horse breed? Well, as I didn't spend money to get the in-game currency, I didn't really get to try out any other horses. All the horses I saw appeared to have the same swiftness stat, so I'd say a horse with good agility stats would be your best bet for a good racer. Ah uh, yes, horses for courses as they say. And you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Oh, and also, you should never look a gift horse in the mouth, even a digital one. Y yeah, sure, great, great tips there, Will. I'm sorry, I haven't actually played Star Stables, so I don't have much to contribute aside from horse sayings. Well, let's tackle another question, shall we? And this one is from Blake in Mount Gambia. What is your favourite character in Super Mario Odyssey, Mario or Cappy? 
Thanks, Blake. In answer to your question about whether we prefer Mario or Cappy in Super Mario Odyssey, well, Cappy can be useful for letting you transform into other creatures or getting across long distances. And it's kind of nice that if you're playing with a younger sibling or someone not yet competent with gaming on their own, they can play as Cappy in co-op mode and help out here and there. But really, I think there's no contest here. Mario is clearly the best. I mean, Cappy, when it comes down to it, is just a hat. Just a hat? Jem, just a hat. How dare you? Is Indiana Jones's hat just a hat? Are our GGSP hats and beanies just hats? Yes. Oh yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, we're out of time. If you have a question for us, go here and send it in. And if you're a hat fan like Will, why not send us a video question and show yours off? Yeah, totally, because if we use your video on the show, you'll score a GGSP pin and hat or beanie and some other cool things too. So bring on your videos, hat fans. Look, if you love hats so much, Will, why not just play a hat in time? Oh, maybe I will, Jem. Maybe I will.